instead of sending attachments through email, I'm going to show you how to share a document to OneDrive or Google Drive and then share a link instead. If you're using OneDrive, just go ahead and log into your Office 365 account and then select OneDrive. You can also access OneDrive by clicking the grid and then clicking here. Create a new folder. Name your folder. Go to the folder you just created. Okay, you'll see that here. Click to open. Okay, and now you can drag or upload files here. Okay, for example, I have this document here. I'm just going to drag and drop that into the folder. Now that the document has uploaded, you're going to go ahead and select this circle here. You have to mouse over this to see it. So just go ahead and make sure you select that. And then we're going to click on share. Okay. And then this is where you're going to have the sharing options. So if you click on this arrow here, you want anyone with the link to view. You don't want them to edit. So just make sure you uncheck that box there. So now anyone with a link can view that document. Okay, click apply, copy link. And I always like to just click copy again, just to make sure it is copied. Now I'm going to go to email. Select email access. Sign in. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click new. And then all I have to do is type my message here. Command V to paste that link. And then it's ready to be sent to whoever you need this email to get to. So this way is just really simple. You don't have to attach anything that's going to slow down our email server even more. So just go ahead and share a link. Okay, the process is similar in Google Drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click a new tab to open. Make sure that you're logged in to your Google EDU account. Click the grid. Select Drive. Create a new folder. This just helps you keep all your folders organized. Create. Okay, so now I can just double click to open and then I can drag and drop whatever documents I need in there. The good thing about both OneDrive and Google Drive is you can share a whole folder or just individual files. Okay, down here it's still showing that it's loading. Aside from dragging and dropping, which I find is the easiest way, you can also select New, File Upload and then go to wherever your file is saved to upload from there. Okay, so I have one file uploaded here. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's selected. So I just go ahead and click on it once. And I know that I've selected it because it turns a very light blue. And then I can right click on it. And then you're going to go ahead and click share. You can also right click and get shareable link. Make sure you select this on and then I would go to share settings. Okay, this is where you need to make sure that your settings are public. So I'm going to go ahead and select more because right now it's defaulted that only Cal Allen ISD uh, faculty and staff can view this and students. Okay, we want this public. So we're going to go ahead and select more. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and select public on the web. That means anyone on the internet can find and access. They don't need to sign in to view this document. And right here, anyone that has access to that document can view. All right, so you don't need to change that. All we want them to do is view it. Click save. OK, 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and copy link and then we can go back to that email, select new, type your message, and then control V to paste. Okay, and this link is all you need to share with the parent to access that document. Okay, no need to attach.